Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm here with another video. Uh, in this video, we have an Acer Aspire laptop, and the particular model for this one is an ES15, and the exact long number for this one model number is an ES1-531C45U. And in this video, I'm gonna take you on a step by step how to open it up, how to replace your battery. If your battery is not holding up any more charge, or you just want to replace it before selling it, or just want to remove it for some reason, this video is for you. All right, this applies for any Aspire ES15, so it doesn't have to be this exact model. It can be any Aspire ES15 series. So I'm gonna keep this video really short. First thing you need to do is to power up the laptop, grab your spare part battery. I'll leave the link in the video description if I can find one. And all you need to do on the bottom cover here, you're gonna see a whole bunch of screws. All the screws are the same size and height, so we're gonna remove all of them and keep them in one pile. I'll be using an iFixit screwdriver set as they have one of the best screwdrivers out there. We're gonna be using a Phillips number one. If you get the pro version, they do include you with an opening tool and some tweezers. If you don't wanna get the pro version, just get the simple version. And uh, for the opening tool, just grab yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening covers and cases. All right, now we're gonna start removing all the screws at the bottom cover. Remember, all the screws are the same size, so keep them in one pile. So go ahead and remove it. Also, if you guys like my videos, if my videos help you guys out and you wanna support the channel, you can do that by clicking that like and subscribe to the channel. I'll greatly appreciate it, and it will be a great motivation for me to take your requests, answer your comments, and make more videos for you guys. I really appreciate it. All right, once we remove all the screws, that just double check, make sure you haven't missed any screws. You wanna pull this dummy caddy out and put it to one side. And you are gonna open up the laptop in a 45 degree angle, just like that. Or if you have enough room, just open it if you want. Now you wanna stick the opening tool between the top and the bottom cover right there, right there's a right, tiny crack. And you just wanna wiggle it around and you should see an opening right there. And you should hear a click right there, that click is normal, That's, those are the clips that are getting loose. So go ahead and loosen up all the way towards the right and left side. Work your way around over the DVD cover and do, your, do it on the left and on the right side all the way to the back corner. Once you did that, now you can see a separation between the palm rest and the bottom cover. In here, you don't you want to yank on it because there's uh, two cables, the trackpad and the keyboard flex cable. For the trackpad, you want to put your finger at the back of the lock and lift up 90 degrees and pull the uh, cable out. For this one, there's a tiny black covers in here. You want to push them towards the back of the laptop a little bit um, on each side and you want to slide the flex cable out from the back end. Now you want to grab the palm rest, lift it up straight and there you have it. Now I'm gonna go over the locks that I removed so you guys get a better idea. So the locks were right here. This is the flex cable for the uh, keyboard. Uh, what I did, I moved this side forward about one millimeter and this side too. So that will loosen up the flex cable so it can slide out. Once you put the flex cable back in from the back end, pull these two back and it will pinch the flex cable. For the trackpad, you just lift this one 90 degrees and slide out, put back in and lock it down. All right, once we are down here, you can see the whole battery right here. This is three cell battery. You can get an extended battery with a fourth cell, but I haven't found any, but I'll try to look for it if they do make one or they don't. So to remove the battery, first let's go remove the jack. Put your fingers at the back of the jack right here and pull it back 90 degrees straight. And now we're gonna remove the screws. I don't see any screw holding in here. So there's one screw right on this side. So go ahead and remove this screw right there. And let's see if it comes out from here or is, is any slider. So I don't see any sliding. There's a tiny clips right here. I'm guessing that yes, you do have to remove this, push these clips back. And they're kinda annoying. So you have to push these clips back to in order to be able to release the battery. I don't know why they make it like that, so I'm just gonna grab a 
uh, another tool here to put it underneath. So I'm gonna put this underneath so I can push it out. So there we go, one out, two out, three, four, there's nothing there, five. So once I remove all five of them, I'm gonna grab it up and bring it out. So there's your battery. So as you can see, this is just empty spot right here. The model for this one is an AC14B18J. So I'll try to get some links for this one and I'll put in a video description. Let's say you got the new battery in. Before you're connecting it, put it back down. Put this side down. There's a tiny hinges right here, three of them. So I slide this one in there. So it goes right in there and just push down. You should hear a few clicks. All right, those are big hard clicks. Once you got those in there, just put a single useless screw right in the corner here and grab this jack. Evenly make sure this jack, the white, there's no pin exposed in here, has to be facing up the ceiling. You don't want to put it the other way around this way, otherwise, you're going to shorten the motherboard. So make sure these exposed pins are facing down. Or even better, make sure you're positive, which is red. The red should be facing towards the uh, connector for the keyboard. So the negative towards the hard drive and the red towards the jack. Bring it down straight, even. And you want to push it towards the motherboard evenly, just like that. And just squish the cables right in the crack, right in there. Leave it in there. Once you got in here. Now there's something really important once you do the upgrade for the battery. Once you replace the battery, you don't want to power on the laptop. You want to plug in the charger, leave it charging for six to seven hours at least on an off position, off mode. And after that, you can power on and use it normally. So initial charge should be with a laptop turned off for six to seven hours. All right, once we finish with this one, we're going to grab the palm rest. We are going to Put align it right straight on top. And what we're gonna do down here, we're gonna grab what I showed you guys before. I'm gonna open up the lock, push it backwards, and so it's in an unlock position. And I'm gonna slide this flex cable right in there. Make sure it has to go all the way in. So I might have to push the lock again back. And now what I'm gonna do with my, my finger, I'm just gonna Pull these locks back together. Make sure it locks in. It's kind of tight spot right there, but there we go. I managed. So the same thing for this one. Unlock it. This one is much easier. Just unlock it. Squeeze the flex cable right in there and lock it down. So I guess I didn't do a good job. So it makes sure it goes all the way in and lock it down and now it's in place. Now what you need to do is to pinch the top, align the top and the bottom cover, the palm rest I mean, kind of a little bit, align it, make sure it's nicely aligned and you want to squeeze and press the top and the bottom cover down and you should hear a few clicks and just pinch them together and that should be all. And the last thing down here would be to put the uh, caddy for the fake dummy DVD drive in here. Just squeeze it all the way in. And you start putting, slapping on the screws at the bottom cover. You start from one corner and just go all around. Remember the screws, they don't have any height difference or anything. They all go anywhere in the screw holes. As always, if you guys like this video, please click the like button and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.